Yo, big up on yourself, you don't know. You had my opinion, you know. Yeah, man. Yo, 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 welcome to Yardman Opinion, and man, I have another video today, another opinion today, because I cannot understand my people for the life of me. Why is having proper infrastructure such a bad thing to Jamaicans? Why do you think everything is Americanized? Huh? I, I, I can never understand. Let me just go ahead and jump right into the video and I'm going to show you guys some examples of what I'm talking about because I've been seeing some things on social media and it's absolutely ridiculous. One of the new complaints uh, coming out of Jamaica is that of our roads, right? Our, our roads are terrible. The local roads are terrible. The country roads, they're absolutely terrible. They're disgusting. They're small. They're full of potholes. Um, they're narrow. I don't know when or where those ro roads were built, but I know some, and they've been the same from the 90s. Now, Jamaica depends on tourism a lot. Tourism helps our economy a lot. But now I see people complaining that making proper roads, proper highways to travel the island is making Jamaica more like America. Are you seriously kidding? No, seriously. Are you guys having a laugh? Do you, do you guys just want something something to complain about? I don't under I'm literally baffled. You're complaining about a highway. Are you serious? How is making making proper roads in Jamaica making more like America? Every country in the world have proper highways. Well, I don't want to say every country. Most countries, most first world countries, developing countries, they have proper highways. If you depend on tourism, you need proper highways. There's some beautiful spots in rural Jamaica. How are you going to get tours to those areas? How are you going to have money in those areas to develop the areas, to put money in the local economy? You guys are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Why is it that Jamaicans are so blatant, blatantly acceptable of the status quo? Why do you accept the status quo so much? It's like so many Jamaicans want Jamaica to go back to the 70s and 80s because it would mean that some poor people, because people are still going to be poor regardless of what happens. But if we can return Jamaica to the 70s and 80s, some poor people who sell on the street can sell some food and they can sell some clothes. Is that what you want for your future? Do you want this revolving cycle of people being on the street selling? Is that what you want for your daughter, your granddaughter, your grandkids? I don't understand your mindset. Kingston is supposed to be the capital city. And now I'm seeing that they have issues with the construction of the, the construction of the tallest building in the Caribbean. Like, how is this a problem? This will provide work for skilled and unskilled workers alike. But that is still a problem. Kingston should look like a city. You should have a couple towers, maybe a few towers, water view, places to walk. Downtown Kingston should be cleaned up and look like a proper, excuse me, a proper capital city. But that can happen because it, it means that the government doesn't value poor people. What are you guys saying? Do you all understand that the more development a country gets, the more better it is for the economy, for you, for your kids, for your grandkids? Like, does that matter? How can you be satisfied with your grandkids growing up to see Jamaica the same way that you did? Please tell me. What will it take for Jamaicans to be open to change? What would it take for Jamaicans to be open to growth? What would it take for Jamaicans to be open to building Jamaica? If any other Caribbean islands start improving their economy and infrastructure, you same Jamaicans will blame the government for not doing more to improve Jamaica. I know my people. Do y'all know why countries like Qatar, the UAE, 
African countries like Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, Kenya, even Ethiopia, East Africa, are becoming first world countries. I mean, Dubai and the UAE is practically a first world city. Qatar is practically a first world country and yes, you're going to say yes, they have oil money. What if Jamaica had oil money? Would you guys be open, open to change? Or you'd say the government is stealing all the money? Less than 30 years ago, some of these countries were desert. They didn't have anything. But you know what the difference is? Their government is competent. And they know that they can't live in the past. They know that you have to change for the future. And they didn't care about what the minority think because they know that most of the population want to see their country better. I am sick of you Jamaicans wanting everything to remain the same. Because Jamaica can be a more amazing country. The whole island should have proper highway from north to south and east to west. Regardless of if there were some little um, shopping, like food restaurants, um, or at rest stops, more can be built. And you're going to see some of them on the screen. So, like, what are these people saying? I, I do not understand. What are these people saying? The airport should be bigger. So they're not always overcrowded. Have you ever gone to the airport and you're trying to leave and the lines are so freaking long for you to leave, for you to depart from the country that, that those who are coming in can still see you? It's crazy. There should be walkable areas in Montego Bay and in Kingston. There should be a proper public transit system. Yes, I believe that. If small islands, well, DR is bigger than Jamaica, but if a country like DR can have a subway system, why can't Jamaica have a subway system? All these people selling on the street should be removed and placed in a market somewhere. And I know what y'all are gonna say, Jamaican government no like poor people. Shut up. Shut up. Because y'all don't want better for the country. Jamaica needs needs to have at least six to seven proper malls throughout the island. With elevators, escalators, movie theaters. That's the country that I want to see. That's the Jamaica that I want to see. Why 50 years from now Jamaica should look the same? Why should there be cars everywhere in Montego Bay, everywhere in Kingston? Some areas should be car free, vehicle free. It should just be for pedestrians. Are you going to say money's not in Jamaica for these? Really? You know for a fact the money is in Jamaica, and a lot of it. There are millionaires and billionaires all over the island, so get real. Yeah, I know this video is sound a little bit upset, but I just can't stand Jamaicans who do not want to see the country improve. They would rather live in poverty if it means that they don't have to pay taxes, they don't have to pay any bills, they just want to remain poor. And a lot of people go to the states with that mentality. If they can get some government benefits without improving their, themselves, improving their lives, they'll live in a one-bedroom apartment and get government benefits with no motivation of going to school, bettering themselves. And that's a dumbass mentality. It's really dumb. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comment below. Follow Yardman Opinion. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram because that's where I, I be talking about these things. Look more.